Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's Disney Sidekick Soap Series video, yes, I had to practice saying that several times because it's hard, very hard. <laughs> anyway, in today's video, I am making the one and only fabulous Pascal. Kind of blends into the quilt a little bit, just a little bit. I love these ears. This bow actually detaches too, which is so fun. Got these on Etsy. I'll link them below if the shop is still around because these are fabulous. I actually have figment ears that look just like this too. Highly recommend. Anyway, once again, I'm going on a tangent because I can just go on all day about Pascal, about Tangled, which one of my favorite movies. Punzi is right up there with Cinderella as one of my favorites. And I am so excited about this soap because I think I picked the perfect fragrance oil because the soap could actually be Pascal or the fragrance oil. Like I think it's a good interpretation of both. So if you were not someone that was into the Disney soap series, I think the soap would look like the fragrance. I'm teasing you because I want you to watch and I think you're really gonna like it. This is one of my favorite fragrance oils and is one, it is a bestseller. It's a Brambleberry fragrance oil. So why don't we jump in and you'll actually see what I'm talking about. This will make a lot more sense after when we meet back here to look at the finished product. Okay, I thought I would show you my process in the beginning a little bit. And that is, my oils are very clear normally when I start, but I add in gently two tablespoons of kaolin clay to my oil mixture. And then I blend that up so when you end up seeing it, it looks a little cloudy, but that's not really the case. So I figured I would show you what I do. That's it. So when you see my oils and it looks a little cloudy, that's why. It has some kaolin clay in there. And kaolin clay, if you have dry skin, oily skin, it will work with all of that. It, that's not gonna matter. It's gonna help give it a nice hand feel, slip in your hand, and then um, help the scent retain. So, let me add our lye water in, it'll let us blend this up. <laughs> Excellent. Now, for today's sidekick, we are diving into one of my favorite movies. I almost said Frozen, which is not the case. It is Tangled, one word. So we are gonna be doing something with Pascal, which means I've got all these fun greens. This one is Enchanted Forest, Mad Micah's. I've got all these different new ones. I'm trying to sort through them. This is a new one to me. This is New Tone Green Mica from Wholesale Supply Plus. I have some of this with some yellow in here. And then I have a little bit of lavender, which I thought would be kind of Rapunzel-y. And the base, I'm going to make this lily pad green. So with that in mind, what I'm gonna do is take out my shaft here, because I'm not sure I'm gonna need it anymore, but we'll see. Let's scrape it off a little bit. We're gonna do some hand blending, and hopefully everything turns out okay. So I'm gonna put that off to the side. And I'm gonna add in my fragrance oil manually. All right, how do you pick a fragrance for Pascal? Like, what do you pick? And I was looking at these colors, and I thought the colors themselves really reminded me of succulents. So I went with a fragrance that I've had for a little while and I've been wanting to use because it has been described as one of Brambleberry's top sellers. And that is Lush Succulent. And it smells OMG so, so good. Mm, it has that green scent to it, but it's just fresh and beautiful. So. Let's add in, I'm going to add in, that's probably good for the purple. I don't want to overdo the purple. We'll get these greens. So you can kind of see where I'm going with the different um, colors here. And why I thought the fragrance really call, the colors call for this fragrance. 
It's just so pretty. So we've got our primary green here I'm gonna add in. And I think what I'm gonna do is grab this spatula. And you guys know me by now, I love to try and figure out ways to reduce doing dishes. So I was using this one um, spatula for all the greens, because why not? And then I had just one for the purple. Okay, that's good. So let's mix up these greens here. And the greens are really gonna transform. They kind of go an awful olivey, well, awful depending on how you look at it, when they are in the soap at first, and then they really transform. Ooh, liking this color here. This is the new true, new tone green, which looks really nice. And I thought I would do all these different greens here. Just, you know, nice way to mix things up. So I think what I'm gonna do is, until I mix all of those, let me pour most of this green into my brambleberry mold. Just get most of that in to set up. And then we're gonna do some drops that are primarily gonna be on the top. So we'll do that. I'm not looking for it to totally set up, but. Okay, this is um, the lavender mica from brambleberry. I just really love this and I thought it would go nice with all these greens. And you know, I had to throw in a little bit of purple for Rapunzel and Tangled and, you know, Pascal sidekick there. And again, it just kind of reminded me of this could be either a succulent soap or it could be a Pascal soap. I mean, really, you could make Pascal soap any color you wanted. Ooh, yay, this is going to be a nice soft yellowy green, which is what I was wanting. So I just wanted some different shades going here. Excellent. Okay, let's get this over here. And we're gonna do nice, easy, close drops because I don't really want it penetrating all the way down. So nice thin lines. Okay. And I think I'm just gonna go straight down the line here. All right. I love Pascal, he's so loyal and loves Rapunzel so much. I love Rapunzel so much too. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to kind of spread this out a bit. Um, I think we're gonna do a pass of this green before I add the purple more. Kind of get that. I'm going to add in the rest of this. And then the top, because if I think about the succulent, that angle, then the purple is kind of always right on top as like a tip to it. And there are so many succulent soaps out there that I don't want to do something typical where people will pipe on little bits or they might. Um, make the melt and pour out of the succulent molds that I see out there. I want to do something a little bit different. And by the way, if you hear background noise, it is wicked windy out, like gusts up to 50 miles an hour. So I'm just glad that I got all my oils melted so I can make this in case I lose power because it's a real possibility here. Okay, we got a good amount of that out. Now let's go back with the greens here and get some nice drips. And I really just kind of want these to cover the top area. Add some nice fun texture. Ooh, this smells absolutely fantastic. I think you're really going to enjoy it because I really do. And I love these containers. They're nice and small. They're like one cup and they're really nice. Okay, now I can add a little bit of this purple. Did 
There we go. Ooh, that looks really nice. All right, and I'm gonna finish off these. I'm strategically kind of saving the yellowish green for the top and the purple. And these are not really gonna sink down. But I do just wanna get everything out here. All right. Because I think the um, light yellowish green is going to really look like, you know, top of a succulent and it's going to complement the purple nicely. So that, that's, there is some logic here, even though it may not always seem that way. Some. I didn't say it was a lot, so there was some. Get that out of my hand. Now let's get this one, which there really isn't much left. I might be able to get like one good drip here. All right, and I'm just gonna focus on getting some of this out. I'm trying to decide if I should do a little hanger swirl with this because it's firming up a little bit on top. I don't know. I wish you were here to tell me what to do. Okay, and now we've got this green the lovely yellow green. Yeah, I like the way that this is looking on top. And obviously you guys know the drill by now that I love to swirl my top. So we'll do that. And I think that's gonna blend it all up nicely. Maybe we'll go down a little bit deeper with our swirl. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking this choice to do this on top along with the purple. I think that's gonna really give it some of that succulent feel. And we have my new tripod going right now, which um, you'll have to tell me if you like this angle, I can get up a lot higher, which is good. Okay, but you see a little bit more of my mess, but I keep it real here, you guys know what it's like. Okay, let's really get this in there, get the corners, scrape this out, and then we'll swirl the top. Question is, do we add a little bit of glitter? Do we not? Kind of lean towards no. But Pascal, I mean, he does change color, but that's kind of what he does as a chameleon, that's not magic per se. Unlike Rapunzel's amazing hair. Whew, I am hot wearing these long sleeves, but need to do what you need to do for uh, safety's sake here. All right, where the heck did all my popsicle sticks go? Here we go. Whew, there's some uh, serious drippage here. Mm. Clean a little bit of this up first. Drip, drip, drip. Okay, that's a little bit better. There we go. Ooh, I'm liking these colors together. Okay. And this is just my overlapping figure eight here. It really brings some nice texture and movement to the top. Okay. Well, I'd say this is one fun looking soap. And I, it's really funny because the top is gonna look so different than what the inside is gonna look like, but I can't wait to cut into it. I'm just spritzing it with some rubbing alcohol to prevent some soda ash, but let's check in and see what this looks like real soon. All right, I am in love with this purple, with the greens and different shades, and I cannot wait to cut into this. Let me put that down. Ooh, this is at an angle for you. Let's see. Trying to figure out what the right angle is. Eh, that's a weird angle. I can't seem to get it right. Anyway, let's lay this down and see what, there we go, that's better-ish. Let's see what this looks like. It's been in the mold for about two and a half days now, so it's really nice and set up. There's no reasoning for that. Ooh. Look at that. 
I love it so much. Oh my gosh, let's see what the middle looks like. Oh, this is absolutely incredible. This is definitely kind of what I was going for with just that little bit of purple on top and those greens. I would say the bottom green is a little bit more bluish, but I'm okay with that because I love, 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 love blues and teals and all of that. Favorite colors. Ah, oh, absolutely love how this turned out. Could not be more happy. Oh man, all right. The smell is amazing, absolutely incredible. We got, there's kind of the end piece right there. Let's do, where did it go? There's my big hunk of hunk of soap. Let's do our final cut here. Ooh yes, that cut is so nice. All right, I will check in with you in a little bit to let you know how this fragrance holds up. All right. Wow, that really blends in with the background. See, it's like Pascal, it blends in. <laughs> All right, let's get closer and take a look at those drops. I love them so much. And it does kind of have that succulent feel to it as well. It smells really good. It's got that earthy greenery scent to it, but it's very well balanced. I almost got get like, kind of these salty notes so it has that fresh earthiness to it really rec but there's also hold on there's a little bit of floral behind it but the floral is like the tertiary notes it's very subtle so it's not very feminine but it's just kind of mm. i can see why this is a bestseller for brambleberry in terms of fragrance oils and would highly recommend this if you like that kind of scent or if you just like the design i think you're gonna really really enjoy this and see what i mean about this could just be a succulent soap or this could be a pascal soap in terms of pascal i do think the bottom is a little too blue green and some of the other colors are a little bit better like that yellow green is perfect that i mixed up really like that uh, yeah, but I am really happy with this. I hope you enjoyed watching this and my interpretation, which was a little bit different. And I want to know, what is your favorite version of Pascal? Do you like him green or should I have done a more wild interpretation as, you know, in Rapunzel's dress or some other iteration? Like, would you have done as literal as I did? Or do you, do you want to see like Pascal 2.0 where he's a little, little, wild and crazy let me know down below otherwise give this video a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed because we've got lots of great stuff coming up but until then i hope this inspired you to create something beautiful i will see you real soon have a fantastic day